is to catch him without ever making him rattle. In an Argyle garage, a scenario that would rattle just about anyone. Except maybe Rob Bowles. And I get a call, it's like, hey, we have a rattlesnake in our garage. And I'm Bowles like, has been relocating snakes across North Texas for years, most of them harmless. Then he saw this one. It's not a bull snake, it's a diamondback. A venomous western diamondback. And for Denton County, a first. The first ever observed here. Bulls brought it to UT Arlington for research. It's not that it's an uncommon species, is that the place that it was found was uncommon. Biological curator Greg Pandalee says this find helped scientists better understand where these snakes are turning up as people and development push farther into their habitat. We decided that the best course of action was to preserve it so we can continue to use that animal to learn about diamondbacks in the state. From a suburban garage to a place in the university's biological record of reptiles and amphibians. Once the specimens are identified and cataloged, they can be preserved for generations. Take, for example, this common European toad. It was collected in May of 1913. Its rattling days are over. But Pandalee says the rattlesnake's contribution to science is just beginning. And I would say that the broader you know, picture there of what people can do to help is be aware that that kind of stuff is happening. Most people have no clue. And if you ever find yourself face to face with one. The best thing is, is three steps and you're out of a snake's way. Just back up. And call a professional. In Denton County, I'm Luke Clary.